Let's face it, this is the last video of the first series of videos on multiphysics simulations. Uh, throughout the last six, we've been discussing different ways of working uh, with the model using different means. So now let me summarize and present my personal perception of different methods and um, elaborate more on strengths and weaknesses of each and every method. In the table you see, I'm, I have gathered all my uh, personal opinions about uh, different ways of working with multiphysics simulations through the code. Uh, but the first column represents uh, the basic method of working with the model, so namely that the console desktop. Uh, throughout the videos we've been discussing working with text editor and Eclipse as well as the application builder, so all these three uh, were using Java. And the last one I referred to the MATLAB live link, so obviously this one used MATLAB. So I have evaluated uh, these different ways in five different categories. So what I mean by flexibility is um, looking at uh, those different ways, uh, I was thinking how much flexible can you make the models? Um, generally I would say uh, console desktop is already quite flexible. Uh, it allows you to do a lot, especially on the post-processing side, uh, creating different graphics and different plots. I haven't discussed that in this video, but um, uh, it is really something that I would be happy to make an additional video to discuss. Uh, but anyway, I would say as, a, as medium, uh, comparing that to working with a text editor and, or Eclipse um, using Java, uh, these two methods will provide a very high flexibility of working with the models. Uh, we are not only able to, for example, apply for loops or uh, condition statements inside of the model, but you can think of expanding them, for example, giving input classes or output classes and streaming the whole um, simulations through different models, splitting things and creating customized graphical user interfaces and so on. And you can also make them more robust using uh, try-catch statements. So there's really no limitations of how you how flexible models you can make are using these two. Uh, similarly, I would say uh, MATLAB Live Link is also a method that I would consider very, uh, of very high flexibility. Comparing to that, the application builder is something I would say the flexibility is just high. Because every time you create a graphical user interface in a way which has been uh, kind of forced upon you, uh, you're not going to get that high flexibility, but still it allows to really make the models more flexible just comparing to work uh, with a bare-bone console desktop. Uh, then the difficulty, uh, so for a, I mean if you are a very experienced user I believe that every method is easy for you, but some, so some people might have the preferences, some people might just be uh, really starting their adventures with multi-physics simulations, so I would say console desktop is uh, really easy to work with and uh, it contains everything it needs so it doesn't really take that much training to get started. Uh, similarly, uh, the application builder being a part of the console desktop in a sense also presents something that is easy to, to get started. On the other hand, working with a text editor is something of a very high difficulty because you need to have the very high understanding of what is going on and most uh, likely you'll be working closely with the documentation, so that's something I would recommend for the advanced users. Uh, in this context, working through Eclipse and MATLAB Live Link is a medium uh, difficulty because you have all those hints and tips, so for example, Auto Completion or MPH Navigator, which does make the, the job a bit easier. Accessibility is something I would consider how um, much impact can you make on the others while making the models. So generally, if you are the only user of, of, of your own models, then this doesn't apply. But if you're going to share your work with the others, uh, well, that situation is different because the others might not be as experienced as you yourself. So starting off with the console desktop, I would say it is medium because you might uh, find the users who would like to use the results of your models but not necessarily know how to operate console. Uh, then I uh, the text editor and Eclipse, are uh, the accessibility is low, as well as the MATLAB Live Link, the accessibility would be low, unless you invest your time in order to uh, create a customized GUI. Uh, these two will be very difficult to share your models um, 
Well, maybe you have some customers who are good programmers themselves, but comparing all that to the application builder, uh, there's really much more advantage of working with the application builder because that provides you all the tools in order to make the graphical user interface. And then the price. Um, generally, console isn't a inexpensive tool. Well, it does take some money to pay for the license. So uh, I would start it as medium, but generally all of these four are medium because you don't have to purchase any additional features. Uh, MATLAB Live Link comes at an additional cost, but the cost isn't higher, that much higher comparing to uh, the standard license. So I would say it's high or higher uh, just slightly. Uh, and the last thing is, well, time how much time you need to spend in order to develop the models uh, on a request. I would say if you're just working with the console desktop, uh, the development speed will be pretty low. And the reason for that is that, uh, well, you might develop the models halfway and then save them, uh, but every time you need to do some changes, really, then you need to uh, redo certain things, and especially uh, something that takes a lot of time would be selecting all the boundaries. So there are also better methods to, to work with that, but they were beyond the series, beyond the scope of this series of video. Um, similarly, our application builder. That is useful if you can already standardize on something. So if you have a recurring problem, something that you need to create models every, every now and then, uh, it makes uh, sense to automate. But then if you're going to make any changes to that, uh, that is also imposing certain limitations. Uh, then our development speed with the text editor will be medium uh, because you can partly automate things but then if you use Eclipse then you get even faster. Uh, I would say that uh, working through the MATLAB Live Link is something that can really uh, take a huge leap forward because uh, you're, you're able to work simultaneously uh, with both console desktop and the code and since the code is also a high-level programming language and it can work as an interpreter, uh, then you can really make decisions on the go and very quickly modify parts of the models. Uh, so uh, this is something that I really, really like. This is probably much my most favorite uh, feature that, uh, that I have kind of discovered for myself. So I hope you didn't, get, you, you didn't lose your interest uh, in this video. Uh, now I need to think of what kind of problems I would like to present in the next series. Uh, I hope to get your comments and um, I hope to get your comments and feedback in, in, in the comments. <laughs> so um, I hope we'll see each other again. Thank you.